Hey everybody, James Neumeyer here. Sure appreciate everybody tuning into my YouTube channel and I love the feedback, hearing from you guys, what you like, what you want to see. And then obviously the positive feedback is always an encouragement. I just got back from the FLW Cup where Brian Thrift led wire to wire in one FLW Cup, which was uh, an amazing feat. Congratulations to him. I noticed that in watching some of the footage, he caught one of his key fish on day three, the toughest day of the event, on a swing jig. And I thought, what could I do a video on? So I thought I'd do just a quick video on swing jigs and swim jig traders, particularly focusing on the trader side of things. When you walk into Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's, there's just so many different trailers, and it can be pretty overwhelming what to throw, what, when to throw it, colors, combinations, appendages, bulk, or more of a streamlined type approach. So I want to give you my top three trailer types and four colors of swim jigs that I use day in, day, day out. 12 months of the year. The swim jig that I like to throw is a Strike King Kevin Van Dam Tournament Series swim jig. And I like the heavy hook variety. I, if I have identified a bass to be feeding on a bluegill, a little red ear, or some sort of sunfish, the number one thing that I want to throw on the back of my Strike King swim jig is a menace grub. This bait is out of the Rage Tail line. I love this on the back of a swim jig when imitating bluegills because it has that tail-like appendage on the back in shape and it kicks around just, just like a swimming tail on a bluegill or a red ear or something like that. So that's one of my favorite ones for a swim jig. But I also, in times when there's, when it's safe to say it's either dirtier water or I want a little bit more bulk or want more, more lift in the water column, that's when I go with the striking rage crop. The Strike King Rage Trog gives me a little bit more lift up in the water column and then also gives me, it kind of kicks out to the side like this and I can move it in through cover a little bit better. So if I want a bulkier, bigger presentation and I also want something that produces a little more lift in my swim jig, then I'm going to go with the Rage Trog. If I want something that doesn't create as much lift and not as much action, the Menace Grub. We are into summer and so Basically, your whites, your blue glimmers, your different uh, shad patterns, bait fish patterns, gizzard shad type patterns, your green glimmer, those types of things are going to work really well at imitating bait fish, especially as we move into the fall. My number one bait fish pattern is, or bait fish shape as far as traders go, is the Strike King Caffeine Shad. I love that caffeine shad because it's got a little tail in there, kicks like a little. Like a little bait fish in the water, but that streamlined shape on the back of my swim jig to me looks more like a mirror shape or a soft, rayed, thin type of prey item that you might find, whether it's minnows or gizzards or thread fan or what. In my efforts to try to imitate shad or bait fish type patterns, I might go with a pearl blue glimmer like this or a smoky shad there's another one that's one of my favorites, and that's Ghost Shad, which is kind of smoked with a translucent belly. And then obviously your plain white is also really good. And they've got two sizes. I generally go with the smaller one, which I believe is like a, a three and a half inch, and this one's a five inch. In real clear water, I might try a, a striking rage swimmer, swim bait, loop tail type trailer. But in most situations, I'm going with the caffeine shad. So basically when it comes down to it, my top three trailers, Striking Rage Crawl, Swimming Caffeine Shad, and the Striking Menace Grub out of, with the, out of the Rage Tail line. Those, are, those three are gonna do most of the heavy lifting, if not all the heavy, heavy lifting, 12 months of the year for me. And Rage Menace Grub works well in a lot of different situations, and even sometimes will even work well in some of their shad patterns for more of your bait fish. When I feel like the fish are feeding on crawfish, of course, the rage craw is what's going to get the knot on that. The only other color that I'm that I would tie on, besides to say a bluegill, a green pumpkin, and those are almost part and parcel the same, and a shad pattern is a black and blue. Black and blue works well anytime you have tannic water, 
or on dark days or dirty water or in the pre-spawn time frame that black and blue works really well you know florida georgia louisiana and, and even into texas where you have that more tea colored water and that works well and it's something it's something that i use when maybe it's real dark outside it's raining and different things like that if they're on a swim jig type presentation and i'm using a lot of the same things a lot of the same trailers a lot of the same ideas as far as choosing a trailer for my swim jig on black and blue as far as jig colors again i'll go over it. black and blue a shad pattern and a bluegill and or green pumpkin those are basically the four jig colors that i throw for swim jig this helps me kind of minimize the types of trailers that I use. Every once in a while, I might use a grub, but those three are generally what I've got on. I'm catching them on swim jig. Those are the three, and it's one of those four colors. So I hope that helps. Appreciate you guys tuning in my, my YouTube channel. Trying to get some more stuff out there um, as we move into the fall. We'll do more fall-centric type stuff, and we'll throw in a couple more fishing trips along the way. So stay tuned and good fishing.